In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find a good business ideal. Also, I'm going to give you a methodology, a way to vet that business ideal and make sure, guaranteed, that this is a profitable business ideal. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu, where your real education begins. Be sure to get my entrepreneur life skill courses. If you want to start a business, if you want to navigate that journey from employee to boss, grab that bundle first link below the video. Do it now. Now let's jump into this because many of you want to start a business but don't know where to start. We're going to help you solve that today. All right, before we jump into what you want to know and the methodology, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. There are many people that seem to think that life on the internet is radically different than it is in real life. That false assumption is one of the reasons that you struggle online making money. Now, there's this whole thing, and this is the guaranteed part that you wanna know. If you can't sell your business model, not item, but business model, locally, it's going to be very challenging to sell it online. Yesterday, I was looking at the comments and I was an answering comments. Someone was asking about refund policies and all these other stuff. Okay, that's the free inf information that's all over the internet, right? Any site that you want to place your stuff on has terms of service, rules of engagement. All of that stuff is on the site is there you don't even have to ask for that if you're going to do shopify if you're going to do ebay you're going to do amazon you, there are rules that are already there and you can google that now this is what you do you have a product you have a service something that you want to sell what you need to do is go and find five to ten people that you can sell that product or service to locally if you can't sell it locally, and I'm not going to talk about the rare, exceptional hummingbird crystal that sells to a guy in England for $20,000. That is atypical. That's not normal. Most of the stuff that you sell, most of the things that you create, you can sell locally. Now, the Internet creates a device that allows you to have scale. That's the beauty of the Internet. It allows you to have scale. It allows you to have reach. That is the beauty. It does not magically turn a turd into a gold bar. So if your business idea, your concept, and this has happened a lot, especially with you ladies, you want to sell purses, you want to sell handbags or wallets. And I was like, have a party and try to sell it to your friends. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I just want to put it on the internet. I just want to sell it. I don't want to talk to nobody and it should work. If you get a really good product, that can work. But proof that your business model is going to work takes you talking to people. It's less expensive. You get better information. You get information that your competition will not get. And I'm going to say that again. You get information that your competition will not get because you know your customer much better. That is how you test out and you find out if your business ideal is a good one i have people on this channel who have been in the i want to start something mode for one two three four five years if you were to take whatever you want to do and just put a put a group of people together five six seven eight whatever and present it to them you will get so much information versus building a website reading about terms of service uh going all around doing everything in your power to avoid the most important part of making money anywhere is getting the sale learning the customer learning how the sales process works learning if your ideal is a turd and a lot of my ideals are turds i euphemize ideals all of the time because it sounds good in my head but the minute that i put it out here and i was like hey y'all like no nobody's eating that cake Wow, okay, I thought that cake was amazing. But many of you, you don't like that cake. And if you don't like that cake, you're not going to eat it. And if you're not going to eat it, you're not going to pay for it. It's that simple. So 
to find out if your ideal is good, talk to some people. Get out there and engage with the public. I'm in a group and I made this comment that when I had my phone number on the channel, right, I talked to well over 400 people and dude was like, I gotta talk to you. A lot of people don't wanna talk to people and I don't have any problems talking to anybody with a real thing. And the real thing is you got a business, it's up and running or you're committed to getting it up and running, meaning that you'll spend some money. Long as you're in that, I don't know, I don't wanna lose, I'm scared. You could stay there the rest of your life. Unlike many other internet people, I'm not here to motivate your ass. If you're not motivated by the chance of being more successful, being happier, building something that makes you proud, there ain't shit that I can offer you. My job here is to give you good information that if you apply it, if you go ahead and put it into use, you'll make money. It's that simple. But as long as you keep looking for all of these tricky, special, working smart, not hard methodologies, you're not going to make any money, you're not going to build your business, and you're not going to get anything started. Now, I'm about to give you a secret here. How did I, out of nowhere, come online and start making money as a pure digital citizen, which is the person who sells information products, service, courses, consulting? How did that happen? Well, I worked out here in the real world for a decade. I always made money online since 2000, eBay, Amazon, but to me that wasn't a pure online making system, such as if you put up your website and you sell your whatever from your website, that's pure online income. Now many people misconfuse or misunderstand intentionally because they are full of fear. When I say you need to leave eBay or Amazon, what I'm saying is if you never learn how to make money purely on the internet, you're always going to be at their beck and call and whenever they change something, whenever they do something, you will be losing your mind. I see that all of the time and many people, I, I, I've got out of the groups. I got tired of the whining every day. I got tired of the bitching every day. I got tired of the horror stories every day. But people keep saying, well, that's the best way to go. Successful people, regardless of the platform, will be successful. So that's why you have someone who is killing it on Amazon, who's killing it on eBay, then you have some brand new person who has no business experience, no selling experience, no product sourcing experience, none of this stuff. And they go there and within 90 days they're giving up because they don't have the skill set. So my effort here to help you find a good business model, a good business idea, is to let you know that you gotta do some work. You need to, while you're small, find out as much about your customer base as possible. I do a lot of testing and it pisses a lot of you off because it's like, what's this about? It's a test. I want to know if a number of people want to buy this widget before I go into full production mode. That's what a good business person does. But a lot of you seem to believe in uh, unicorns, rainbows, and other fairies that you're just going to introduce something to the market. It's going to be an absolute hit. You're going to make a lot of money real quick and you're not going to have to work that hard. That is holding many of you hostage. I see it in the comments. I see it all over the internet. So once again, take whatever you have and scale it locally. And when I say scale it locally, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 customers, you're good. You're gonna get a lot of information. Take that information, come here online, and then start to scale with it. Then you're still gonna have to do testing here online. So that's how you are guaranteed to find a good and profitable business model because you're gonna vet it before you even get online. You're gonna vet it before you build your website. You're gonna vet it before you start getting into all of these things that are important, but they're only important if you are making money. If you're not making money, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. I see people like, oh man, I don't know. I need to get my LLC together and all this other stuff. Don't have a product, don't have a service, merchant account nothing, not making any money, but you're worried about these things that don't matter until you start making some money. And once you're making money, these things are easier to deal with, they're easier to purchase, they're easier to pay for because you're making money. That's all I got for you. Hopefully it was helpful. If you like the commentary and the advice of this channel, like, 
comment and subscribe and once again if you want to start a business and you're looking to cut out some of that learning curve go below the video hit that first link and get the hustlers kung fu life skills bundle it's 20 courses for people who want to become entrepreneurs it handles the business side as well as the personal side so with that i'll see you in the next video